the head chef at Wise 25 years ago when Bob and Jean Wise used to own Wise. And it was really good, as everyone says. Mm. They were good because they were good with their products. So I learned a lot off these people who've been there for a long, long time. Um, and then I've taken it further and brought the science side into it. And trying different ways of doing things to make the product better, last longer. And also be showing is what to do with your fridges at home to make your fridges work more economical with the way you store stuff in them. Because that's the biggest thing that we find that people have trouble with. Um, I've got a mobile business I've had 20 years, and I'll say, no, the fish didn't last as good as what it did last week. So I'd go in and I'd test their fridges and, 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 and find out why it's not working if there's something on their fridge. So I'll go through all that today as well, um, when we're going through the fresh minutes and all that kind of thing. Any questions, just ask. If you're not sure of something, just ask. I do everything, I wing everything, everything's in here. So you notice I'm not gonna have a piece of paper telling you lies, everything's coming out of here. Because a lot of fishers, a lot of a lot of people in certain industries will tell fibs. And this is the idea of this, is to let you know what the geo is. You'll be able to walk in and have a look and go, mm, that doesn't seem right. You know what I mean? You'll have more of an idea of what's going on. I'm also gonna be touching base with these new bags that everyone's going to be charging for. I've looked in the last two weeks and I've looked at what we're, which way we're going. Is everyone's going to be charging for bags and all this kind of thing. So I'll touch base with that, how much they're costing us, how much we're selling them for and which way we're going to go on. Sold on. We're this way here. Some people like to say, if you like to really sold yours to get your taste there, you come and buy them off us like that and open it yourself. Where if you like the, the second lot you'll have, um, you can buy them out of the display, you know they'll be like that. We open them each day. Um, the bottled oysters we don't do in house, we do them out of Brisbane because it's a lot of work. It's, a, it's more of a second grade oyster they do on the bottles where the shell doesn't look dry or it doesn't look set on the restaurant or all this kind of stuff that go right deep into. These, these tanks, like this tank here, we clean out one to two times a week. So we have to take the water out of here, we turn it off, suck all the water out, suck the shell out, and then we redo it. So it's, there's a lot of work in it for what we make out of it, which is not a lot, but everyone loves them. So it's the kind of thing you've got to have. They are frozen. So we buy them in the St. Frozen boat uh, boxes. And what I've actually done is I've defrosted some yesterday and I've defrosted some half an hour ago. And I want you to taste the difference in the two. The lot, if you eat corn straight away out of the water, they tough and they taste terrible. Where if you leave them for one day to two days, it's a prime time to eat. Okay. And you've been looking at the last two weeks. There used to be a biogradable bag that I used to buy a couple of years ago because we were maybe we were going that way three or four years ago or something. We were looking at, so I went biogradable and started using them. Then they, I thought, oh well, we'll just go in small bags and stock. So we did. Now they've come out. The government has come out with this new thing that I think is going to save the environment. The reason they were getting rid of the carry bags is because of the handles on the bags. It was getting around the fish or whatever. And they couldn't get it off. So the thickness of the bags that we use now are fairly thin. They're not very thick. The new bags are three times thicker. And they've got handles on them. And they're not biogradable. And they're costing us more money. Right? So... A bag used to cost three cents, we used to give it to people. You know what I mean? Like, now they're costing us seven cents. To me, I'd like just to give it to people. But what we're doing as a company or as a business, we want to go down that path of what they wanted to do of recyclable and, and, and perishable stuff that will break down in the environment. Those ones there, so let's just rip one off. These are, are called gusset rolls. So we, we still. Everyone will still use these anyhow, but there's no handles on them, which means it's better for our wildlife. 
We're going to do it in these. We're going to twist them. We're going to put them through a machine and put sticky tape on them. And then we're actually going to wrap them up in newspaper. So it's up to you.